Welcome back guys. Just like we did with the chrome mine barrel, we're gonna do the exact same thing with the melanite barrel to see how the erosion works, uh, both in a full meltdown that we'll get to later on in the video, hopefully. And uh, first, before we do that, we're gonna do seven rounds, which is the basic infantry load. Fire that full auto through here. And then after that, we're gonna take a look once it cools down, of course, at the barrel and see how the erosion's doing and how the rifling looks and all that stuff. But same exact rifle with the exception of this barrel has the melanite and the other one had the chrome lining. Otherwise, no change at all. Seven rounds, getting ready to go through it on full auto. Love rotating that fun switch. The last shell didn't eject. I can feel it getting a little bit faster. That's what heat will do. Rounds are the same, American Eagle 55 grain, 223. Hmm. You guys can probably hear and see the speed changing as well. Oop, we're gonna get a double feed on that one. There you go. Same thing there. Looks like it might just be moving a little bit too fast for it. We'll see you later when we review the footage. Same exact malfunction. It's getting a little hot. And the last mag. Locked it open. I'd say that's a little bit hot. It's toasty. So we're going to let it cool down and then take a look at it. We let the barrel cool down a little bit, and as you guys can see from the shot we're rolling in here from the bore scope, the lead looks perfectly normal. Really, it could be a new barrel for all we know, so no real erosion problems there. If you look at the gas port that we're rolling in here, a little bit of erosion on that, but still not bad at all. Um, I would say that's about to change real quick because I have about 2,000 rounds loaded up in front of me, and uh, we're about to see how fast we can go through it with this full auto lower. It's the same lower as we used in the chrome video. We let it cool down and uh, we're gonna see what it can do. I suppose without any further ado, we'll get it started. So I think uh, the other one made it 36 rounds, uh, 36 mags-ish with the chrome line barrel before it burst. Post down below in the comment section what you guys think this one's gonna make it and uh, we'll get to work. Started to speed up a little bit there already. Fed all of them, just didn't kick that last round out. Not sure if you can see it on video, but the speed was changing there throughout the mag. Same thing, fed all the rounds, just didn't kick that last one out. Start to run a little bit too fast. malfunction is just going a little bit too fast there. Don't want to touch that handguard. It's getting hot. Daniel Defense mags have 32 rounds in them for those of you counting at home. Which I know is like everyone. Ah. 
Well, this is getting a little bit annoying, but I think it's just running a little bit too fast. We stopped real quick just to swap the bolt out because if we had malfunctions like that, guys, the gun might go all night. So hopefully that stops the uh, malfunctions from happening. We'll see. Total time, about two minutes. Same thing. Hey guys, just a quick inset here just to talk about what you just saw and, and what you're seeing now. So uh, we swapped the bolt out like I annotated in the video there. I'm sitting here editing and just watching the footage and basically the gun didn't get any better. Still had a ton of malfunctions. So what I'm going to do here is sort of fast forward through all that. I'm going to keep the actual firing portions in you know normal speed so that way you guys can see how the gun's cycling and all that stuff. But all the malfunction clearances and reloads and all that stuff, I'm just going to fast forward through it because honestly, I just watched the whole video on my editing software and it's it's really kind of uh, it's hard to watch it's just difficult so i'm going to fast forward through that's what you're going to be seeing here and then what you're going to see is sort of what we uh ended the test for uh we started to get some cook-offs we had a few uh you know after a few extra hundred rounds and at the end we had more and that's why we stopped the test which again you guys are going to see here in just a second so i just wanted to explain why i'm fast forwarding it and what you're seeing now and uh anyway back out to the range to see the video <laughs> you know, I debated doing this out in my field without a 15 foot berm. Glad I didn't do that. And that's exactly why. Thanks to the AK guy for letting this come out and use his property. <laughs> I <laughs> Saw that coming. <laughs> the pistol grip's starting to get hot and the butt stock's starting to get hot. mag was like locked in there. That mag has eight rounds in it for those counting. This is the second time that magazine catch is coming loose. That's just crazy talk. I'm trying to see through my uh, sweat on my glasses here. Let me try to push this one in real quick, the mag catch. Rotate around, see if we can get through to the end of this test. I still don't know how that's happening. It's a field expedient rare. <laughs> The barrel is white at this point. It looks to be white anyway. No. Yeah, we'll try a couple more. She's dying. Yeah, they were gonna call it quits at this point, guys. That would be why. We'll let it cool down and take a look and see what's happening in there. Get you guys, let you guys get a look at that gas block. I'm not sure if you can see it. If we come over here in front of the light for you guys, 
It's about red, purple red, somewhere in there. It's kind of like Prince's logo. So we'll let it cool down, take a look at it, and see what we see. It's been about 20 minutes since we stopped firing. As you can see, I'm still wearing a glove because it's still quite warm, but I uh, was able to pull the bolt carrier group out, look in the rifling, and just like the chrome mine barrel, uh, to the naked eye, it looks very, very good to me. Overall, quite pleased with it. One thing you can see there is that the uh, melanite, which was originally sort of a shiny black, is now a shiny white. So that's kind of interesting there. But everything held up, just like uh, the chrome one. The bomb-proof gas block worked just fine. Um, everything appears to be in normal working order. There's just a lot going on uh, with the rifle when it's that hot that we saw what we saw there. A lot of the stoppages like we talked about that we had to uh, fast forward through. And what we're gonna do is this is gonna be the part two. So we already did the chrome wine video, this is the melanite. And we're gonna do a follow up here with Nathan, Nathan from Faxon where we actually take a look and sort of from the more scientific background that he knows a little bit more about, we're gonna see what he has to say about everything we saw today and sort of kind of give a summary as to why everything happened with both barrels and uh, what the results were. So that's about it. If you guys are just finding this video and haven't seen my channel before and you like what you saw, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But if you have any questions, you can post down below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always. But thanks for watching guys. For those of you that are subscribed, thanks for subscribing and we'll see you in the next video.